G'day, I'm Brack. This is The Breakfast Club and we are doing another range review today. This one from Station Forge. It's The Breakfast Club. <laughs> so, Station Forge. A 3D printing company that also you get physical files from as well, but we'll, we'll look at that later. Uh, yeah, they've got some interesting orc stuff, sort of themed around the the pirate for most time. Um, it's some really, really interesting stuff I want to have a look at. Now, they do do other things, non orky things, but being October, we're only looking at the orcs today I might come and I might come back next month and revisit that we'll, we'll just have to wait and see how well this is so let's go and check station forge out so here we are at station forge and like as I said before they do other stuff um, he's got a patreon so I'll put these links below so there'll be the patreon the MMF the mini factory and there's a physical store and we're going to move over there and have a look at some of these models. Okay, here we are at their store. And all these prices are in Australian dollars. But I do believe that wherever you happen to be, you go on here and your currency will pop up. That's always a nice thing, isn't it? So, yeah, looking at these compared to other third party folks, a little on the expensive side, but smaller operation has uh, higher costs, and just just because of the, the the scale of the exercise. But let's have a look at this detail, and uh, I think for something like this, for if you're a one-off model, could be worth the price. Check out this: the Orca's Death Mounder. Now you can sort of see what this is isn't it and you probably saw this on the thumbnail and it's a groovy looking kill rig and there's a follow up there with a spine glass and a very nasty looking saber sword got a few notches in it and there's some gubbins there's an orcas with a harpoon. You'd be able to throw it. That looks really good. One down here with a grabbing claw. I do like this this beastie. It um, looks more like a squiggoth. So if you don't like the pig things, well, this is for you. This is for you. Um, the armor, the nice detailed armor. Armor. On, the, on his nose and his head and those tusks ah, massive fat little things so we've got tires and tracks no sleds and there's a gun there oh look at that there's a a gentle orcus in a long coat and a and a pirate cat being a pirate so yeah, there's all these are uh, pirate themed, which is wonderful if you are a freebooter. But it's also wonderful if you're not, you know. There's nothing in the rules to say that you can be Death Skulls goths and still not want to wear pirate clothes. Um, it's it's not a rule. Orcs don't really have fashion police. Oh, I like this from the back. I have a plate on his back back there. Looks a bit fishy. And some belts. Yeah, this is really oh, this is nice. This is nice. Side view. So the orc, he's, um, he's obviously driving some things. And uh, he also has... Oh, he's manning that big gun, isn't he? And he's got a flagon. A flagon of fungus juice. That will make his aim a lot better, won't it? So this weapon, look at this weapon. It's a big, big flamer. Wow, look at that. What a great design. What a great design. 
Okay, it's fungus rum. Yum. That sounds like fun. I could do with some fungus rum. Ooh, all the sharp lines. The big face loving the uh, the beard. It's almost as impressive as mine, isn't it? And ah, uh, oh, look at this guy. He's manning another little girl, the the um the lobber. Well, it could be used for a lobber, isn't it? Because you know, these are proxies. He doesn't have a moustache, but he's got a pipe. I just love the pose on this guy. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful stuff. And here we have some orca goblins. So we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of all various shapes and sizes. Look at this fella here. Got what I would call a medieval cap. A very crude looking bashing weapon. And a shooter. And this fella. I like them. They look, you know, they're, they're, they're not too far uh, removed from... Uh, the Grotz and the Gretchen, they sort of fit in with a bit of slight variance and they, they're, they're separate goblins in their own right, which are great. All clothes, all well armoured, they look very sophisticated, don't they? I love the pose on this guy. Little hat, gun, and this guy, he, he must have forgotten his gun. He's scratching his head going, where did I leave it? But look at that. Look at that people patter. I don't want to get patted by that. This goblin has picked up one of the, the pirates' um, sluggers or little shooters. And because he's small, it actually looks a bit like a big shooter for him, doesn't it? Love that grin on that face. Look at those teeth. And this guy. Double-barreled shotgun and he's trying to give himself a mail walk? Or is that just a He's just patched up where he's been hit. Well, this guy's got a mohawk. Look at that. And a club. Don't want to join that club. Looks dangerous. But just check it out. Oh, the sculpt on this is fantastic. Nice clear lines. The arms, the bulging muscles on the arms. That face so expressive. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And here he is. Is he, is he going to start the race with that gun? Or is he dancing? Oh, look, like it. Um, he's, he's not wearing any shoes. You can see his three little toes. Look at these eyes. You could probably paint these eyes quite well, I reckon. All right, a uh, two-shooted goblin here. And he's got a, a little leather cap on. Yeah, I'm really enjoying these ones. And this guy. Hang on. Hang on. That face. That's a human face. He's... Well, someone has skinned a human face, and he's wearing it. Uh, a bit gruesome. Great sculpt. Really good sculpt. Okay, next up is the Orca's Grand Nutter. That's what my family like to call me from time to time. Although they probably don't use the word grand. They might put other expletives in front of it, but... Oh. These things happen. What a groovy looking war boss this guy is. Check out this shooter. They have a great custom shooter. We've got what, three barrels? This nice big ammo belt going in. Oh, look at that. Lovely looking boss pole, fierce looking boss pole. And we've got some exhaust at the back for all these. Uh, Governs and he's working. These shoulder pads look amazing. But I love the belt buckle. Look at that. And what I do like about it is that it's this very similar shape to the uh, Station Forges logo, isn't it? It's a really good way of keeping your brand on your, uh, your model. Look at the side view here. Oh, that's my big backpack there. A couple of rockets you can chuck in there as well. There's a lot going on. There's so much detail. Very, very busy model indeed. But, oh, whoa. that's good. And he's sitting on some tactical rocks. Hooray for tactical rocks. This claw is just amazing. We've got some orcas, 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 pirates. And look at that. Isn't that great? 
Oh, wow. Just that pose looks really, really good. Love the weapon, the little hat. And here's another slightly different gun. Some big ass bullets. Like the checker work on the gun, so you can actually get and do some checkers. So that nice, easy checker work there for you. And here's another different gun. Really nice mutton chops there. That look great. Foreboding looking weapon as well. Let's go down to this one. Another big one is this. Look at that beard. What an amazing, amazing beard. Loving the shape of these eyes. There's a lot of work here. Must be the leader of the pack. What? He's, he's, he's got a sword? Cutlass? Maybe? Pirate hat. Good beard. And is that a. There's a, some communication device he's got in his hand. This fellow's running. He's running so he can get closer to shoot things. And what's better than a pirate cap? A pirate cap with feathers. Yeah, that's great. I love the rope. There's a lot of. The rope around the legs and the bro and as acting as bracelets that looks really good it's a nice touch and he's this guy's carrying a little cannon by himself nice long coat oh you imagine getting the paint on that i think this would go really really well if you want to have that pirated theme and uh, if you've got flash kits so uh, go well with all those flash kits and i like this guy with this little it's, it's a Little pistol with a thunderbuss, and I think there's some swords at the back. He's got himself a armor jaw, and that looks like he's got a claw. Anyways, look at him. Look at this fella. Raging a little bit of a mohawk. He has two chopper weapons, and he's got another dagger in there as well. He's dressed to kill. I always love an orc sculpt which has an orc just standing there resting their weapon on their shoulder. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay, some slightly different orcas here. Orcas are plague spreaders. So, they've had the touch of the chaos, haven't they, inside them? And we're gonna go with this guy. They, they, they're great. Ooh. Orcs tainted by Chaos doesn't always happen, but it has been known to happen from time to time. And, oh, this sculpt. Got a gun and a little wacky, wacky thing. Another wacky thing is Nax. He hasn't been taken over by Chaos a little bit, but um, I really like this. Orcs with horns. And this looks like a plasma type gun as well. Yeah. Loving how there's all this, um, the clothing sort of scraped and there's lots of holes in it. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like he's, um, he's starting to, uh, road, deco, de, decompose. There on the arm. That's a nasty looking screw in his shoulder. This guy, he's been through the battles. Looks really good. He's got no shoes and look like his feet are starting to deteriorate. Look at the boss pole on this. All those skulls on the back. He's had some fun, hasn't he? Oh, fierce looking beastie, this one. Tongue's deforming. He's got lots of, uh, there's a, is that a mouth forming on his shoulder? Cass has really got hold of him. What is that he is holding? He stabs into it. It looks like it's the arm of something that he's, uh, Beaten. Are these gizzards coming out? Is that his entrails coming out of his stomach? Really gruesome stuff when you think about it. Really gruesome stuff. And what's happening with that tongue? He broke his tongue yet? He's quite rude, isn't he? Oh, look, yeah, if you. You could really get the paintbrush and do some really great gruesome effects here. This would be great. This would be really, really good. Not where my orcs are going, but I can, I can really appreciate why people might want to get these. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic stuff. 
Here we got some orc strappers. We've got a good mixture here. There's ten of them there. Some with larger weapons, some with smaller weapons. Uh, mostly all shooters. A couple without. But they look great. They look really, really good. All right, there's this fellow holding a gun. Mohawk. This guy, look at the face on him. He's serious, isn't he? What an expressive face. I love how these poses, they're sort of all different types of poses and looking in different ways. That's that's fantastic. That's really, really good. More big guns, more big guns here. A lot of these folks seem to be bare chested, that's all right. So if you like painting green skin, and I do, these would be great for that. And it's a double choppered guy with no shoes. Oh, he's not, not double choppered, but he's, he's, he's only got one chopper. He's got no shoes, uh, but he does have his own tactical. This guy has a shooter. He's also, got, he's also got a bayonet. And look at that look on his face. The intent, you know, he's, he spied something and I'm going to stab that. So now to this fellow here with a axe type chopper and a slugger type weapon. Just some of the detail on this work is fantastic. Fantastic stuff. And here's another fella, another orcas. He's got a little axe, that's all he seems to have. But those arm and shoulder pads. You wouldn't want to get shouldered with one of those, would you? And a little fine detail, he doesn't look to be bare chested there. And he's got a little shirt on. And last and not least is this fella here with this dagger interesting looking um scrap type dagger here you notice he's got two pieces strapped uh knocked together a little bit of uh orc ingenuity here going on and a very familiar looking slugger these are the orc strappers love them okay so there you go that was that so station forge I'll put the links below and you go and check them out. All right, so what do you think? There's some really good stuff here. What's your favorite? I really, really love the rig. It's great. And I wouldn't mind getting my hands on those pirates too. But we'll just have to wait and see. So comment below, tell me which ones you like, what would you like to get? And I'll put the links down below so you can access everything. And I believe first time only, 10% off. And there is a code, so read all the instructions uh, for free shipping. So check that out. And uh, remember, if you go on crumping, you've got to bash early, bash often. Wah! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe and share and also press that notification bell so you get to see more of my videos. If you want to get social with Brack, well then, down in the link below there are all those wonderful platforms that I'm on and there's even a few where you can donate to like Patreon and buy me a coffee. Once again, thanks for watching and catch you later.